Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius again, <laughs> or someone's very arsy at the moment, or very uh, antsy. Nancy Drew is also what I'm hearing. What? Nancy? Nancy Drew as well, or Nan, yeah, Nan. My Nan is very, oh, okay, I did hear my Nan is very ill. My Nan is very ill. So I don't know uh, if any of you obviously have grandmas and stuff like that, but I'm hearing my Nan is very ill. Uh, but I'm hearing Nancy Drew as well. Something to do with drawing. For a lot of you possibly are into arts and crafts and you're physically going to start drawing again. Because I'm hearing like sketching something out, like a catchphrase or a sketch. Okay, someone's also acting very sketchy. Very sketchy. I don't know if it's a kaleidoscope. Elijah, where have you been? But something to do with a, sky, um, a kaleidoscope or like sketchy. So someone's acting very sketchy. So when somebody, I don't know, you see, I don't know about jargon in other countries, but when someone acts very sketchy, they act very flaky. So I'm hearing like, like, like they're doing something in their head or whatever, and it's kind of like, man, I can't quite figure this out. What, what's going on with you? Like you're acting a little bit strange, a little bit weird, a little bit like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. You're acting a little bit like sketchy. You, do you know what I'm saying? I hope, hopefully you guys know what I mean by sketchy, right? But like a seven, maybe a seven of swords or a car or something, or uh, like it, it, it's something that doesn't feel quite right. And it's kind of like sketchy as in, in and out. Like, um, oh man, what is this? I don't know what this message is for you. Because I keep trying, <laughs> all right, I heard it, sketchy, sketch, sketch, etch a sketch, etch a sketch, that used to be like a, a thing, etch a sketch, okay, like um, uh, in the olden days it was red and used to do that and it used to make like uh, like a, a, an iPad that we have now, we, we call iPads, <laughs> during the war, but during the war, during the olden days, we used to call them an etch a sketch, you used to turn it and it used to like make these lines and you used to turn that one, turn that one and then it would do something. So something around sketching or drawing on like an iPad or something is what they're saying. Like, or physical using pens or pencils and sketching. But they keep saying etch a sketch and something could be sketchy. Like, et, like I don't know if you're drawing a person like a caricature or a bit like a, um, oh, what was that? It used to be, well, it used to be all political, to be honest. It used to be Maggie, Maggie Thatcher and God knows what else. And it was, uh, what was that called? The Puppets. The Puppets. Uh, something sketch it was called something sketch what is that something sketch <laughs> uh, man y'all guys from Britain or you'll know right something sketch it was called and it was all the puppets I don't know why that's what that's there for uh, but drawing puppets or something drawing puppets um, possible bands uh, the puppet master um, oh, fuck me man Sorry, but my head, when these things come up, I can't remember the band names. I can't remember the names of the thing. Uh, Stephen, King, something to do with Steve or Stephen. Um, <laughs> but something like sketching, like drawing or like someone's acting very sketchy, flaky, very kind of like, what's going on with you today? What's the matter? Like, why are you acting so weird? That, that kind of thing, that sketchy, like... Okay, I'm with a person and you're acting very strange and very weird. What the fuck is going on with you? Like something. Are you dealing with a Virgo? For a lot of you? Like, well, it's, it's kind of like you're acting weird. Why are you doing all of this weird shit? Like, why do you keep bringing something up? Or like, why are you going very quiet? Like someone that's very quiet and very reserved. And you're kind of like, well, hold on a minute. One minute you're like, you're really up. And then the next minute you're really down. And that's why I think you've got a lot to do with possible Sagittarius energies. Whereas like, uh, once they were up, they were up. And once they were down, they were down. And then we were up neither halfway up or halfway down. So it's kind of like, was well, my cup half empty or full? So it's kind of like this where you're, you could be, oh, I don't, well, that's sketchy. Like your vibration is one minute it's up, the next minute it's down. One minute it's up, the next minute it's down. It's like depression or, dep or, bi or bipolar, like a very fucking sketchy energy. Not saying there's anything wrong with anybody, but it's kind of like one minute you're very up, the next minute I'm very down. And it's a bit like a sugar rush. Like, you know, you've had loads of sugar or loads of energy drinks. And you're kind of like, man, I'm all ready to go and I'm real good. And then all of a sudden it's kind of like, man, I'm having a right fucking low moment. And you're like, what's the matter? Like, no, nothing. And then someone goes very quiet and very reserved, like a Virgo energy. Like, man, what's the matter with you? What, you know, yesterday or like last night, you were fine. And then now you're not. 
and it's kind of like this god man it's like depression <laughs> it's like depression it's like one minute like Jacqueline Hyde you know, Jackie or Jackson or Jacksonville or Julian or Jason or Jasmine or Justin <laughs> you're right guys all Aquarians but like um one minute you're okay, the next minute you're not. One minute everything's working out, the next minute it's not. It's like self-sabotage of depression. Everything seems to be going fine, and then all of a sudden it isn't. And then you're like, what is the matter with you? Everything was fine last night. Everything was fine yesterday. And now like you're feeling down and depressed and low. And now when you feel that way, you act upon your thoughts. When you act upon your thoughts, you're like, yeah, well, I feel down and crap and blah, blah, blah. A person that ruminates on thoughts during depression or during low moments can then start to think all sorts of things because your first message was rumour. I heard rumour, right? So a rumour can be like, well, I heard something, but is it true or is it physically not? Now, this can be depression or it can be physically somebody told me something that I didn't like, right? Somebody told me something and it seems to be this Chinese whispers and a lie that seems to be like being spread around something and people are not really asked or spoke about it, and it's kind of like, well, I can't speak about it, I don't know about it, I don't know enough in, in order to know about it, like anything that's publical, like public, or biblical, the same biblical, like religion. <laughs> and it's like, I don't want to get into a, a debate about it, and I don't want to get into a discussion about it, because I don't actually know enough about it in order to give my opinion, right? So you've kind of got these fucking weird messages, uh, Aquarius, if I'm honest at the moment, about... Like, well, okay, well, I need to give my opinion. You're like, well, to be honest, I'm not going to give my opinion because I don't know what it is. Like, I can't... It's like this. It's like depression. It's like depression. <laughs> and it can be Virgo energies. And I've said it for many a times to people. If you're a life path nine or you're Virgo energy, you always reach that energy of like, I've got it now and I've got it and it's great, but that's not good enough. That's not quite what I want. I haven't got that answer yet. And it's like, well, what's the matter? What is the matter? You're like, oh, I don't know what's the matter. It's kind of like, well, you've got everything. Why are you not happy for having, like, <clears throat> a relationship? Why are you not happy for having a house and a roof over your head? And why are you not happy with all the things that you've got? And you're like, yeah, but the happy medium gets everything, Gemini. So you're like, yeah, but they all seem to have everything. They all seem to get everything. They always have things that are better than mine. Or they all seem to have something that's more. Or, and I don't have it. Or in, like, this is, these have got to be relationship factors, right? And you're like... Yeah, but they all seem to have everything. And there's a lot of yeah, but, no, but, yeah, but, no, but, yeah, but, yeah, yeah but, no, but, but, yeah. Anything after but is bollocks, right? So when you have a but in your head, you're like, yeah, but, oh, I don't know. Yeah, but, oh, I don't know if I should. Yeah, ruminating thoughts. Ruminating thoughts will make a person start acting a certain way. Because that will be like, the other person then would be like, you know what, you're acting quite sketchy. What is going on? Are you lying about something? Like, what is going on in your head? Like, what is it that you're thinking? And then a person could be like, yeah, but I've been thinking about all of this stuff. And you're like, whoa, hold on a minute. Yeah, that's you been thinking about that. That's not me. Like, you're thinking it. Yeah, well, I thought that you were going to or you wasn't and you were going to leave or, like, you wasn't going to leave or, or something. Oh, man, fuck me. You've got narcissism or depression. <laughs> and you're, like someone glitches out and like yeah but I thought and it's like yeah you know what thought did right is the fact that you're thinking too bloody much and in a relationship that is dangerous that's dangerous in a relationship with people that think whatever you do in a relationship don't think don't let it don't let relationships be thoughts <laughs> for God's sake because I'm I, I, I can see it <clears throat> it's kind of like somebody in their head thinks too much about a, a person thinks too much like obsesses over a person or obsesses over overthinking like over analyzing okay let's get a situation going in my head okay let's sit here in like say a virgo energy and let's think about all of the possibilities of what might be going on with this other person or why or what they're not doing and why didn't they, what did they not say, what did they not do right, blah, 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 what did I not do right, is it me or is it them? Trigger, right? So my finger's on the trigger in my head. I'm thinking and I'm thinking and I'm thinking and I'm thinking, what are you doing? Self-sabotaging, right? So then you then have all this in your head. I mean, it doesn't have to be you, it can be the other person. But it's somebody here ruminating thoughts over and over and over in my head coming up with god knows how many scenarios of possibilities of the other person or what this is 
and then all of a sudden you open your mouth and say something to somebody and then you're like fuck what the other person well that would be the other person's response what where did that come from what what i, I don't i don't know what you mean like i, I i've got no idea what you're saying like you, this is you going through that that's not me going through that you're going through it you're thinking about it all you're going over this process all the time what on earth makes you think that i'm cheating or what make an earth makes you think that i'm not doing something right you know that can be control because that can be somebody that within their head is setting up a seed of intent that they then start to blame <coughs> the other person for doing things that they may not have not have done and if a person's running around like a fucking endless chicken like ah you you've just done something like no what i've got no idea what you mean i, I haven't said or done fuck all like what is what yeah but i was thinking and Yes, you're overthinking. <laughs> I mean, are you dealing with an Aquarian moon? An Aquarian moon would do that. Well, a, a, a fixed air sign. Well, definitely a fixed air sign. If, you're, if you've got Aquarius moons, this is more than likely you that's doing it. You guys, I'm sorry. But if you're an Aquarian moon, you are more than likely ruminating with five, right? You, you'll be going over it and 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 over it. And over it. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, five, and also maybe a Torian, right? And you're going over it and going over it and going over it about relationship, 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 relationship. Relationships, everything I want and don't want, all at the same time. I'm in one, and even though I've got it, Virgo energy, even though I've got it and everything's fine, it's not fine. So what's not fine? Well, I haven't quite, I don't feel as if I've got everything. What have you not got? Yeah, but you're not acting the way that I thought it was going to be. It's not quite what I thought it was going to be. Ruminating. When that happens, a person will have a fucking meltdown, a personal meltdown. They'll start ruminating and going and glitching, and when they glitch, the other person's going to think, fuck that, bruv, I am out like mustard, I am like a seven, or a cancerian, like, I am like, I, I have got no idea where all that's coming from, like, I, I don't know what on earth you're talking about. <clears throat> so then you can have blame of like, yeah, but you always do that, blah, blah, blah. It's you, I know it's you, because you... And you're like, fuck, bruv, that's gone one step above to gaslighting, other than like... Do you know what I mean? Gaslighting is created by blame. And is created by ruminating thoughts. And it can then start to... What you think is real in your head, you start to let other people know and think, yeah, but you said that. And you're like, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. You, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. They had that. Like, no, no, like, yes, no, you did. It's like, no, I didn't. I didn't say that. I didn't do that. I didn't, what, where on earth did you get that from? But so-and-so told me, like, back in 1964, and it's like, fuck, oh, bruv, what? <laughs> you, where on earth did that come from? Chinese whispers, lies, or ruminating thoughts is where it comes from. So you're like, you know, obsessive thinking. <clears throat> well, that's your message. That's your message. Now, that's either you going through it or someone else. And if none of these relate to you at all, then possibly watch for something rising Venus or Jupiter. Okay? Uh, but that's the message that you've got, Aquarius. Okay? Is the first thought, seed of intent of a rumour. Right? But a rumour can also be uh, an obsessive thought. That can start off a rumour in your head. If that starts off in your head, that's more than likely depression or fucking like, overanalyzing a situation way too much. Like, too much thinking. Too much, like over analyzing too much time on your own thinking like oh fuck bruv what happens if the world ends tomorrow what happens if the coronavirus <laughs> what happens if all this negativity suddenly starts to come true you'll make that happen it probably won't happen but you'll start seeing it you'll you'll grasp over every straw like oh my god fucking hell suddenly i just see something on the news about the corona of course you did you've been sitting here thinking about it for the last few hours you're gonna see it happen in front of you, like, my God, what's the chances of that? <laughs> it's kind of like that you've got a, like a, a really aching toe, and like your toe like aches, and you've got a cut on it or something, and then suddenly you can't stop thinking about your toe hurting, and then you walk into the kitchen and you stub it again, and you're like, fuck, shit, oh, my toe. It's like, well, why were you thinking about your toe constantly? Because it was hurting, like my head, or like my heart. So I'm constantly thinking about that, so what do you go and do? you get a, a hurt toe or a hurt heart because I'm thinking about it. So, do you know what I'm saying? You make it happen yourself, you know. 
if you're thinking, you know what, I, you know, I've cut my finger, for instance, and uh, I done it, and I didn't even know, and blah blah blah, and then you, 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 someone says, oh, bro, you're bleeding, and you're like, what? And you're like, oh, ah, ah, oh, that hurts now, and it, it wasn't, you didn't know, <laughs> right? Is that when you see it, you're like, oh, oh, hold on, <laughs> where did that come from? Exactly. Thinking about it, you suddenly realise that, oh, hold on a minute, association. Pain? <laughs> well, like, hurt, blood, pain. Oh, pain, oh, all been pain, right? So ruminating thought starts from here. As soon as you know, you're kind of like, ah, uh, the better the devil you know, right? Something's going on in my head. Can I physically see that, or is it just a thought? Right, you, you don't, you've got to be dealing with control. <laughs> you've got to be dealing with, like, Virgo energies and like over analyzing fives, Taurus, Sagittarius, <coughs> right? Because they're cast as fives and that's cast as ruminating and then discriminating energies. Like everybody is out to get me. <laughs> you're like, well, why is that? You know, if you have people that try to avoid you and you always feel as if everybody's out to get you all the time, what the fuck, why is that? How do you act? You know? Oh, that's a message for me. Yeah. No, it's just that, well, Aquarius, very quickly. Ha <laughs> ha If I'm not talking to people in the chat, I do apologise, but I'm, at night sometimes I relax and I play on Call of Duty, <laughs> which is the zombies bit and the uh, campaign and fighting loads of other people. It's like, right, listen, have some of this, bruv. Let off a bit of steam. But I actually got my car yesterday. Uh, for, and greatly enough, they give you two keys because these bloody things here are expensive if they break. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm well chuffed with my car. Um, so, what was I going to say? Yeah, something. <laughs> I don't know what that was relating with. Um, but, yeah, if I'm not on the chat, that's because of uh, because me doing things. So, I've got no idea why the fuck I was saying that now. I lost my flow. Anyway, let's have a look. Aquarius. Sun rising. Venus, Jupiter. What's going on? So, we are looking at from, as soon as you see this, basically... It's the 18th today. Man, I've got to get on with the next month. So as soon as these are done and Pisces, I should be doing the monthly for next month. Okay, so stay tuned. So, um, Aquarius, something rising, Venus and Jupiter. Uh, yeah, eight swords, ruminating thoughts. Aquarius, Leo, eight, going over it and 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 over it like a rehearsal of just like, well, I'm sick to death of bored being at home. If you're at home here and you are frustrated as shit and bored shitless of why people don't come around you, it's probably because you don't go out, right? So if you're okay with that, I'm okay at being at the Eight of Swords. America's Most Wanted. It's a nice place to visit, but I don't think I would want to be there long. Now, what goes on at home, if that's very boring and people like come to the Eight and you're like, what you got to do? And you're like, no, hey, bro, I'm just like depressed and bored and shitless. Somebody that comes over, they're kind of like, Rub, you're bringing me down. Makes me feel like bored, depressed, going over it. I can feel it. If you're connected with people energetically, <laughs> you have to be very careful about what you think. Because what you think and what you feel and what you're going through is what your other person will think and feel. So you're in a complete bind and two and eight here of feeling very, like, smothered. Like, you know, if you give too much attention to, say, a child and say it's a mother thing, and they give you too much focus and too much child, you're like... You're everything, and everything is about you. And I will drink your bath water, and I will do everything. And that's all I think about is, is you, like, constantly, day in, day out. You will make someone feel uncomfortable. <laughs> you can make other people feel uncomfortable. Because look at it. Look how I'm acting. I think about you day in and day out, and I can think about nothing but you. Now, if that's what goes on in someone's head, me, I'm speaking that. Right? I'm speaking that. But if that isn't verbally spoken, that is verbally, well, that is um, verbally addicted. That is addicted to thinking about a person, but not verbally speaking. So your energy, if you're connected via soulmates, is going to be, oh, what's the matter? Oh, nothing, no, nothing. What? What? What's the matter? No, nothing. I just like, what? What's going on? <laughs> Eight of Swords, like ruminating thoughts of depression, can be where I'm incarcerated in this now, like I'm in it, I've got what I want, relationship, I'm either in one, there it is, not with one, 
want one but don't want one, frustrate to shit of being bored on my own, and I have to find someone in life because I don't like being alone. I don't like living alone. I don't like being alone. I don't like being left alone. I need a relationship for someone to live with me. If not, and you're on the other end, and you're kind of like, no, I'm Christy, brother. I'm absolutely fine being on my own. But you're in a relationship, and you go towards the other person, and they're in this state. Then this person's in this state for a reason of like, what's the matter? Why are you so like frustrated and bored? I thought like I was like what you wanted. America's most wanted. It's a nice place to visit, but I don't think I would want to stay there long. Because is it boredom? Is it depression? It's been like, well, there's nothing to do in this Eight of Swords. It's just me here. It's kind of like, yeah, it's a bit boring, isn't it? Like, what are you doing? Well, I'm just sitting here like bored. Like, well, where's your vibration gone? Where's your pet for life? Where's your like... Yeah, but I'm on. I'm having a period. I'm fucking going around in my head. Like, I want you here. And then when you get here, I don't know what to do or say with you when I'm in the relationship. I wanted the relationship. I got it. And now I got no fucking idea what to do in the relationship. So I'm overanalyzing about what we're supposed to be doing. What we're It's like, oh, an inexperienced lover, right? It's kind of like, oh, my God, I don't know what to do. It's like, why, why do you know not know what to do? Why can't we just take things like like easy flow easy come easy go just kind of like you know just take it one step at a time stop thinking too much about what is happening and what isn't happening why can't we just literally just learn to coexist in something that's more like not so like focused upon the relationship why don't we do something other than just this why don't we go out for a walk why don't we go out for a drive why don't we go for instead of just sitting at home being bored and frustrated and shit thinking about what we should shouldn't be doing in a relationship why don't we spend some quality time thinking about the other thing that isn't causing this eight of swords, right? That's your, it seems to be your situation that you're in within one card, uh, Aquarius, here, you know. Because this could be a lot of depression and a lot of boredom and a lot of frustration. And this would probably be where everybody's been mentioning for the last ten months, no, I don't even want the person. Yeah, I hate the person. No, I don't even want them. I hate them. I'm frustrated. They're getting on my nerves. They won't contact me. Blah, blah, blah. Why are they not doing that? In denial. <laughs> In denial. That's what that is. That's ruminating thoughts of not wanting the person even though you do. So the ego will start to create more and more of a like, well, I'm just waiting until I see a Sarah tarot card reading and not participating in the things that I want. So the energy gets stuck. There are things that I need and want and I'm not going to participate in it. I'm just going to think about it. But then you get loads of other uh, uh, equations because you add kind of like depression here and like a bipolar energy. And if you do, this person might be completely confused of not knowing their head from their arsehole. Of like, well, is that depression? Is it boredom? Is it frustration? Is it the fact that I'm inexperienced? Is it because I haven't got what I want? Is it because of all sorts? They are the questions that this one individual person could be thinking in their head as a projection of another outside of a circle of eight would be like, Oh, what's... what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> right? <coughs> <coughs> what do I do now? What do I do wrong? Yeah, but you're a man. Of course, bruv. <laughs> of course. Right? Yeah, well, you're a horse. Really? <laughs> well, you're a sheep. <laughs> you know, um, I'm an horse. But, um, yeah. Relationships, right? What's it like when you got them? Good? Are they? <laughs> no, I want one. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, Aquarius. Aquarius. Hangman. I've been going to school with a Pisces. I'm stuck. It's kind of like, yeah, but I'm hung up on you. I, it's like someone could have ghosted someone and hung, f physically hung up on a person. Like, like bruv, if you keep talking bollocks and shit, I don't want to know. Hang up hang man might not want to know be like bruv i'm just chilling i'm at home on my own i'm here of course i am i'm here all the time with you right i'm with you i'm here with you you're stuck with me so what's the matter what am i not doing right well you're just fucking like sitting there like on a tree just laying there like yeah well what do you want me to do then what do you want to do well i don't know what do you want to do well bark like a dog oh 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 <laughs> it's kind of like I want to do what you want to do and this came up in the Capricorn reading someone that may have I don't know witchcraft and all that but like you know like what do you want to do then well I want to do what you want to do it's kind of like no have something going yourself right have something going yourself what do you like well I really feel like doing this oh okay do you alright then let's do that but then when you ask a person you say alright what do you want to do then 
don't know, what do you want to do? I don't mind, what do you want to do? Don't mind, what do you feel like doing? Bruv, it's got to be boring, right? <laughs> it's got to be boring, so you're kind of like, well, you know what, why don't we do, ah, an epiphany, the hangman, an awakening. Let's do something together then. Instead of doing, like, instead of working against each other, let's work with each other. Let's work for each other. Let's do this together. We want to be together, right? So if you want to be together, then what's, what's physically going on here, <laughs> right? So you're kind of like, well, don't hang up on me. Don't not listen to me. But it depends what's going on in this person's life, right? It really does. It depends on the underlining issues here of being stuck with this person because that's this should be your person, right? Whoever it is, it don't matter. But I'm stuck. I'm in a situation that I can't get out of. Work. I can't just come over at any point of beck and call of your life. I can't just like suddenly appear up at the Eight of Swords if I've got work and I'm stuck at work and I'm at home, like I work for myself or something, and loads of stuff's going on, my, on in my life, and I'm in a jam and I can't get away from work on time, or I can't get away from home, or I, I mean, if man, I'm, some of you I'm picking up on like a third party-ish, because I'm picking up, I can't get away from the person that I'm in on time in order to be able to go and see someone else. Now this might be because of work and going to actually go and see the partner if there's only one, if there's more and you know about it, because I am slowly hearing this, I can't get out of the situation that I'm in with the partner that I don't want to be with or do want to be with or can't be with or shouldn't be with or I really don't know, blah, 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 ruminating thoughts. If there's a third party, I don't know if I can leave this person now to go to get out on time to go and cheat. Right. So it's kind of like that energy here. Because if you're in a relationship in here, and this is a third person because this is a three of Pisces, <clears throat> if it's kind of like, well, I need to get out before I can go and see this other person, then you've got a cheater and a liar and altogether of a person that's in this already. So they have to get out of this themselves. There's nothing that will get this person out of an eight of swords apart from themselves. It's themselves that has to do it. If this is depression or if it's anxiety or if it's ruminating thoughts, it's only this person that can stop doing that themselves in order to be able to unstick themselves. If this is a relationship and you're in it with this person altogether, regardless of the sign, and there's one person, and this isn't three people, right, then you're going to have to learn to somehow coexist together by doing things together, doing things, right? What you both like to do together, not what you don't like to do together, right? Because there's some kind of ruminating thought of a person not being satisfied with what one person does for the other, but the other person can be just like, well, we're in this, so what's the matter? What, what, what am I not doing right? <laughs> you know, what am I not doing right? Yeah, but I want and I feel and I do, yeah, yeah. If this person is really going through depression and God knows what else, you'll confuse this person because they'll just be like, Oh, just go easy, go like, be like water, my friend, like a Pisces. Just be like easy going. Like, yeah, but you're so easy going, isn't you? You're just like, so just sit back and just take things in your stride and just like constantly like feel like a Pisces that you always got your head in your clouds. But there's things that I want and there's things that I need. And it's kind of like, yeah, well, let's just, just take it easy. Like, just don't keep like thinking too much about what's going on. Let's just take it easy, like water, my friend, and be like Bruce Lee. Right? Nah, it's too chilled, it's too relaxed. <laughs> right? So you've kind of got this uh, compromise of being stuck with a person of, of uh, needing to go out, possible. Needing to go out, have a break. Have, well, uh, definitely have a break in a Kit Kat, right? But definitely have a break from thinking too much about what's going wrong. Think about more about what's going right. What's good for you, not what's bad for you. Think about what's going right in your life. All the good things, <laughs> there's a song there, right? All the good things and all the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Beep, beep. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about sex. That's probably what this person wants to talk about is sex constantly. 
over and over and over again. This is an underlining issue of a lot of people, to be honest. Women have got a higher sex drive than men. They've got a higher sex drive than men. And it's an absolute known fact. So this person could be thinking about sex constantly, or this person could be thinking about sex constantly. And this is just kind of like, well, when are we going to talk about sex? Well, when are we not talking about sex? When can we not talk about something else other than just sex constantly all the time? Trust me, you'll get that. Trust me, you can get a lot of men. Honestly, I'm, I'm one. One. I get frustrated with talking about sex constantly. <laughs> I do. It's each to their own. You'll do what you want. But women have got a higher sex drive than men. This is normally where you're kind of like, well, let's talk about sex. Well, let's talk about doing something other than just sitting here and doing nothing. Let's do something else. Let's, you know, because I'm hearing that song reference of, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. It's like, well, let's not just talk about you and me. Let's not just talk about sex, baby, and just you and me, constantly just talking about you and me. Let's talk about, like, other things. Like, if this is constantly on your head and your mind, let's talk about other stuff. Like, you know, when it, when it comes to sexual, like, in a relationship, when it comes to sex and everything else and spending time, the reason, because trust me, there are so many people in relationships that go through these dilemmas. Trust me, and I, I myself and other people, and God knows how many others, is, is that, when life starts to happen, right, you have work, you have stress, you have, like, yeah, well, I'm turned on and you're not. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to be turned off. It's like, yeah, but I'm not turned on and it's like, right, are you ready? And it's like, uh, man, what, am I supposed to just be able to switch this on whenever you want it? It's like, well, yeah, no, I'm ready. And it's like, yeah, well, I'm not. Or like, well, I am. It's like, I want more. It's like, yeah, well, at the moment, hold on a minute, I'm just caught up at work. I can't just, like, switch myself on just whenever you want me to. I can't just be there at a beck and call whenever you want me to. I'm probably very caught up at work and busy. I'm probably stressed out. There's probably not enough time for all that kind of thing. By the time I've finished with my day work, finished work, cooking, everything else, and then you want me to come here, if this is all you want to do and think about that, how am I supposed to just turn on in a relationship just like that and be able to do whatever it is that you want when you want me here right now, right now, right? Right here, right now, right? So you get problems in, right? if you're not in relationships and these kind of things, get looking forward to this kind of shit when you get in them, <laughs> right? Because they are constant daily struggles of when you get in that kind of stuff, right? Because people think that in a relationship, and it happens, that you're supposed to be able to perform like a monkey, Right, and you're supposed to be able to perform whenever it is that you want at someone's beck and call. You have to learn to coexist by not overanalyzing and thinking the situation. When two energies come together and they collide in a situation like this, it can be very like frustrating. Right, it can be like, God, man, I just need a break. Let's just not keep talking about this bollocks. Let's not keep thinking. Let's not keep doing this one thing over and over and over and over again. I get here. Like, let's just do something else. Let's go out. Let's get out for a walk, right? If you're stuck at home, let's go out for a walk. Let's do something other than just like this, like constantly, day in and day out. Take a break, right? Have a breather, <laughs> have a Kit Kat, right? So you've kind of got that at the moment of a, uh, a, well, a kind of a channel message and also whatever these tarot, <laughs> whatever these tarot cards are kind of explaining. But it, it, that's the kind of bind that you get into, right? Especially when you're in it. And like I said, if y'all guys are not in one, this is what it's going to be like when you get in it. So you get to look forward to all this kind of shit, right? Is his arguments with also your partner and stuff like that and siblings over like, well, you're not satisfying me in, in either way. You're not kind of doing this. Yeah, well, you're not doing that. You don't do anything either. Like, you know, you just sit there and doing nothing with your life and you just sit there constantly thinking all the time. Yeah, well, you don't really do this. But blah, 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 blah. Families, kids, children, parents, you're always at home on your own. You always seem to run upstairs in your room and shut your door and isolate yourself away and you never have time to speak to me. Because I'm busy, I don't really want to talk to you, I don't really have time. Yeah, but you don't have time for your old mum anymore, do you? You've grown up and doing your own thing. Yeah, of course I am. Well, why don't you want me? Because I don't, because I'm caught up at work, because I'm doing my own shit. Like, I want to I want to run upstairs and go in my room and do my own work, play on the Xbox, go on a fucking whatever, and I want to be able to do all that kind of stuff. It's like, yeah, but you might want to do that, but where's your life going? <laughs> right? And it's like, yeah, well, <laughs> that is goddamn life right there, Aquarius. That's life, right? You know, y'all guys, if you're not in relationships and you're like, my dream lover is on its way, this is going to be fantastic when I get in it. Ah, ain't all quite what y'all expect when you get in them. Learning to compromise with an energy that overanalyzes 
You have to work it out like the Matrix, so bro. At times I can't work out. Yo, it's fucking weird as shit. What's the matter with you now? Yeah, well, there's something you ain't doing right. Well, fuck, bro. That's called life, and it just take it easy, bro. Right? You know, but <clears throat> y'all seem to humans seem to get ourselves in these sort of predicaments, right? <laughs> Uh, Aquarius. I find it funny, human nature, me. I do. I mean, <laughs> I'm a bit of a piss taker myself. I'm kind of like, bruv, what is the matter with you? You know, trust me, uh, you know, the, the the one good thing that you'll probably ever get from me, right, is, is that I'm a geezer, I'm a bloke, right? I ain't, I ain't a, a woman tarot card reader. I'm not a feminine energy, right? I'm a geezer and I'm a bloke. And I'll, I'm fucking straight up no chase, bruv. I'll tell you all the truth. And I'll tell you, God's, you know, like when you talk to men and you're at the boozer and you're at the pub, and you're kind of like talking about sex and things like that. You're like, bro, what's going on with fucking sex? Like, oh, God, no, bro. Just like, you know, just get it sorted out and get it off. Just, do you know what I mean? It's just like, look, can't we just like, just quickly get it over and done with and just like, it's like, no, I want you to give me a massage. I want you to like, give me like, button me up a little bit. And you're like, oh, fuck, bro. I just got home from work. I just like, I got the kids dripping off my fucking ankle. I got like debt up to my arsehole or I've got like work on my mind and I got other things on your mind. It's like, right, I just get home. You're like, all right, sweetheart, you're right. What's for tea? Right, let's have some food and that. Right, right, and you're all ready now to button me up. And you're like, oh, bro, I've just get it out. Just get going and shut up. Bit of, you know, oh, can I, oh, you never really are. You ain't got time for me, have you? It's just like, <sighs> that's life. That's what that is like in a relationship. Is, is that the other person will think, well, you haven't got time. You're always tired. You're always bloody doing something other than what I want. Y'all don't do it for me. And you're like, yeah, well, I'm tired, bro. I'm just like fucking had enough. What do you want? Can't we just get this over and done with quick? <coughs> That's a male energy. <laughs> That's a male energy. It is, bro. Just stick it in, shut up, and let's just get on with life and get going doing something else. <laughs> that's what men think like right it is they're kind of like brother i just can't be doing with all of this fucking like let's talk about our feelings let's talk about our emotions let's talk about this just a brother a bloke's gonna be like you you'll get that with a guy right he says y'all some blokes out there right like silver justin right right <clears throat> a bloke is gonna be like women are like yeah well you know what it's like you know I met this person last week and, you know, they don't really get that. And they're going on and you're like, so is that right? And you're like, uh, what's that? What? And you're like, y'all don't, never, you didn't listen to a word I said, did you? And you're like, uh, hold on a minute, let me just scratch my arsehole and have a look. <laughs> right? You're like, yeah, no, I agree with you. And you're like, oh, bruv, you, you don't ever listen, do you? And you're like, not really, bruv, to be honest. And they're like, well, Listen, and then that, and they talk, and they go on, and they're like, bah, 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 like, and well, me, I mean, I'm a Gemini moon, so I like to zone out. Me, I'm like zoned out, and I'm like looking at the paintwork, and I'm looking at the ceiling and the sky, and like thinking about, uh, I mean, I could do a cigarette, I could do a beer or something, or like, you know, I could like be like thinking about my guitar or like music and thinking about, uh, I could just think about the like the birds in the sky and shit like that, and the fish in the fish tank, <laughs> and then you, you're like. Pfft. Did you hear what I said? You're like, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, what did I say? Uh, um, I don't know. Um, balloon knot? Something. <laughs> Y'all tell me if that ain't true. Y'all tell me if that isn't true, right? When you zone out, you're like, bruv, I can't listen to all this shit. Like, rat, rat, rat. Rat, rat, me, 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 like Beaker, like me, 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 this is about me, this is about me, what's going on with you, oh, well, you know, you are, you don't really do anything, and you keep going upstairs, you keep doing all that, me, 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 oh, bruv, right there, that's relationships, right, y'all want one? Why do you think I say to people, don't never get married and have kids and children? <laughs> How do you think people are when they've been married for 20 years? Grey, bald, and nearly killing each other. Mm. Right, you very rarely get those elderly couple now that are like, you know, like sitting there like, you are right, Doris? <laughs> no. I very much doubt it nowadays. There is very, very few. <laughs> right, they're one of the few. One of the many. Um, but let's see. <laughs> Aquarius. Aquarius. 
criminal <laughs> fucking hell. So, <laughs> you see, well, let's just stay in this because we hate each other, but we've got kids, so we might as well just keep doing it, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, well, don't lie. That's exactly what you're doing. You're just doing it for the kids. Let's do it for the boys. Right, let's just do it for the kids then. Let's just, you know, just stay here, hate each other, teach them what it's like to be in a relationship, to hate each other. Let's do that. Let's continue to do that, <laughs> right? As some of you, some of you here, it's kind of like, well, don't speak then. It's, you know, if you, because this is thinking. This is thinking. Thinking, 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 and thinking. Now, which one of these people is thinking about this person day in and day out enough to think, well, I'm thinking about you constantly, but I can't speak to you about what I'm thinking you about. This is like, I want to drink your bathwater kind of stuff, but I can't tell you that, and I'd rather just think about you than do it and say it. And now I'm in a complete eight of swords where I'm like, fuck, bruv, what, what are you thinking about now? You! What have I done now? Fuck. See, the energy that is created by an over-analytical person of pressure, force of coming out about a person, especially if they're fucking up in their head, you're like, what? what? What's up? What's the matter? What have I done? What? What? <laughs> uh, what's going on? Some of you are dreaming. And you're like, oh, oh, where's my teddy bear? And honestly, <laughs> it's probably here. <laughs> Ted, Ted in the bed. There you go. My friend Mel, when I told you in the Aries reading, I don't know if any of you are watching, I sent that because I was talking about, I told my friend Sagittarius and my other friend Aries to take a seat and calm their tits. But through that, I was saying Ted dead in a bed and also Cam. And then they've just found out about a friend of theirs and God knows what else. And then her uncle was called Ted that actually died in a bed. And they called him Ted. Man, it's unreal. It's unreal. But I sent that to my friend Aries in the Aries reading. And there were so many messages in there for her. And it just so happened that I ended up sending it because I'd mentioned her name in it. And, uh, yeah, she was like, my God. And I was like, oh, I didn't realise that was probably why I felt the ne necessarily to send you it, right? Uh, but, because I, I don't really post all my readings on Facebook anymore so much. Because I talk about people. <laughs> and I call people out. And some people in my town might be like, bruv, are you talking about me? I don't agree with what you're saying. Ah, uh, bruv. You won't understand. Uh, yeah, we're going to leave it at that because that's nearly an hour. Uh, so if you want more of a reading and you want more comical relief by Steve, but uh, yeah, if you want more of the reading, it goes over to the full access bundle. That's where I'm going to do your full spread, clarify them, and then look into the thoughts and the feelings from your person towards you. If that's obsessive thinking and thinking and feeling and thinking and thinking and feeling and thinking, that's pretty much what I'm going to say. I'm going to see how your partner sees you, and if they think that you're a weirdo, I'm going to tell you that they think that you're slightly obsessed or a weirdo. That's what is going to come out through the reading. Okay? Um, but that will be that. We'll see what they also come out. But like I said, a full spread, and then another reading, and also to show you thoughts and feelings from your partner. Uh, these are an ongoing thing that comes out, but I think the next readings that will be after this will be the monthlies. Uh, but this only goes to the full access bundle over on Patreon. Uh, what else for you, um, Aquarius? Um, yeah, I think that's about it. You can find all the links below. Thanks very much, guys. I really do appreciate it. I'll probably do a video to show you the car. It's like a spaceship, man. It's great. Um, but yeah, I'm so chuffed because it's something that I've wanted for a very long time. And I, I'm so pleased with it. Um, but yeah, I might do a video for people and, and show me the car. The car! <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks very much, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I'll hopefully catch you on the link provided below.